Right now, the, the formatting for this page is so screwed up, right? You won't be able to see the text that's on the screen, but I'll, I'll do my best anyway to read it. And uh, I don't know if you've seen, but Peter Dinklage, you know, the, the man who played the, the imp Tyr Tyrion Lannister in Game of Thrones, you know, he's a very well-known face because of that. Uh, he went on a little bit of a rant because they were going to do a remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And he went off his fucking head about it going you're making that old tired thing and blah 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 and like all this you know little people rights and all this type of stuff right the usual stuff i mean it turns out that uh disney has now cancelled it because of his comments uh and the other actors that were involved in the role are now very very upset peter dinklage just put seven of us out of a job dwarf actors fury at disney for cancelling seven dwarves from snow white remake because the woke multimillionaire game of thrones star said that they were offensive I can't believe they lost their jobs, man. I mean, hi ho, hi ho. Oh, well, I guess they're not going to work. Oh, I guess not. Off to work they go. Let's just get into the article. Uh, dwarf actors have reacted furiously to Disney cancelling the Seven Dwarves from its Snow White remake after Game of Thrones star Peter Dinklage called them offensive, saying the decision robs them of work and the chance to fulfil what for some is a dream role. Speaking to DailyMail.com after Disney's decision to rethink the characters, multiple actors and agents said there are plenty who would have happily accepted the jobs that Dinklage, a Golden Globe winner who was paid $1.2 million per episode of Game of Thrones, said were backwards. Now, the one key thing that uh, Peter Dinklage seems to be missing is, okay, let's just use the term, like, midget, right? Dwarves in old lore, like for example, especially in the old German fairy tales or Bavarian or whatever you want to call them, fairy tales from like way, way back in the day that most Disney movies are based on, they're they're not literal midgets or little people. They're dwarves as in like fictional fantasy characters, right? A, a dwarf isn't a human who was born with a health condition or anything like that. No, they're, they're dwarves, they're their own whole separate species right you know like the denisovians or neanderthals or then who were like a type of humanoid you know dwarves are another type of humanoid right they're just short stocky big beards like to mine like like gems and gold and all that other type of stuff right they're, they're mythical beings they aren't like literal little people right so that's the problem however when it comes to you know making movies and making series and stuff like that then yeah, a little person is the best person to play a dwarf because they look a lot more like them. However, we're not saying that little people literally are dwarves, right? You were not crafted from the earth by Owly the blacksmith, the mighty Valar, right? No, <laughs> it's like that's that's not what people are saying, right? Oh. The actor says the actors say that Dinklage is not the authority on what the community as a whole finds offensive, and that in cancelling the roles, Disney has done far more damage to them than good. And yes, that is correct. Like Peter Dinklage is not the king of the midgets, right? He's he's not right. He doesn't speak for all of them. I mean, if he has a personal opinion he wants to voice, then yeah, that's fine. But he can't turn around and say, therefore, all little people must hate this, right? Nah, like that's not up to you, right? I'm sitting there on his little iron throne. <laughs> I'm king of the midgets now, so I say. <laughs> uh, some are now begging Disney to bring the parts back and are begging for the chance to audition for them. It makes me so sick to my stomach to think that there are seven roles for dwarves that can't get normal acting roles or very few and far between roles and now they are gone because of this guy. And that's, yeah, I mean... A lot of the, the problem is, is whenever you are a little person going into Hollywood and stuff like that, like, guess guess what roles you're going to be offered, right? Everybody knows you're going to be the Oompa Loompa, you're going to be the Elf, you're going to be the Dwarf, but work is work, okay? Being a little person, whatever, if that's what gets you in the door in Hollywood, use your strength to get in there. Peter Dinklage didn't, I mean, he was like, I, I wouldn't take those types of roles, and that's fine, that's completely up to him. However, there are other, you know, little people who are like, well, I'm a little person, may as well get make some fucking money out of it and go to Hollywood and be an elf or a dwarf or an oompa loompa or fucking whatever, right? Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, if that's a strength you want to profit from, whatever. But Peter Dinklage says no. Uh, Peter Dinklage is the biggest dwarf actor, probably. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he is. He's the biggest dwarf actor. A whopping three foot eight. Uh, probably of all time, but it doesn't make him King Dwarf. <laughs> I'm sorry. It sounds like they're about to go to war on a fantasy kingdom. I'm sorry, I tried to be serious. Uh, Dylan Posto, who played Hornswoggle the Leprechaun <laughs> in WWE for 10 years, has also uh, acted in The Muppets. <laughs> so Daily Mail. Uh, when he was cast as a little person role in Lord of the Rings, or in Game of Thrones, or in Elf, or this or that. The other thing, those checks, those checks cash just fine. He had no issue then, but now he wants to be progressive. Come on, man. Yeah, but that makes that makes perfect sense. Um, as a, there's a little little, little leprechaun who's got, oh, faith and bagora, you're after me pot of gold. Oh, faith and bagora, my potato famine, my one million. I don't know, one million seems like a big number. How do you starve to death on an island surrounded by fish? Uh, I, I don't I don't know if Peter Dinklage is still acting or if, if he is done now. Usually it's because they're done. One thing that I have noticed among people that change is, uh, oh, I'm woke now. I've decided that everything that I did to earn my money is actually bad and I'm going to now virtue signal on Twitter about how bad it is. Like, that type of shit. I think Peter Dinklage might be close to retiring, maybe. Uh, but I don't know. It's pretty selfish. People came before him. If it is his mindset that he wants to be the only one, then you got to grow up, man. I don't know. I think he's... It doesn't sound like he's done a lot of growing up. Uh, it's, not, it's not helping our community. It's taking jobs away from our community uh, that are very few and far between as it is, he said. And yeah, that's in Hollywood. You know, if you are a little person... You are going to be pretty limited in what roles you can get. Uh, the story, Postal added, uh, has become the latest victim uh, of our woke nation. We are in a society and a time of woke and progression, and I get that to an extent, but this is a fairy tale. <laughs> this is a fairy tale about Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Dwarves are one of the focuses. They are literally in the title, which is correct. Uh, when I grew up, all I wanted to do was be a professional wrestler and work for WWE. When I was 19 years old, they were casting for a leprechaun, a person of my stature, to be an on-air talent. I could never in a million years have gotten a job in WWE as one of their main superstars. I'm not six foot, I'm not 250 pounds, but this role as the leprechaun was made for me. For 10 years, I got to live my absolute childhood dream as Hornswoggled the Leprechaun on WWE. Uh, if a dwarf just dreams of being an actor and in a Disney film, then this role is made for them. You're taking these roles of not just one, but seven little people away because you feel like you have to make progression. It's so stupid, it's just dumb. You're doing worse for the community than better. And that's that's something that's completely true. One thing that happened with me was uh, when I was on that panel show, The Collective, we'd filmed a bunch of episodes and, and on The Collective, it was basically, let's get four people from very different political, ethnic, cultural backgrounds in a room, ask them all a question and get them all to fucking argue. Like, that was the point. That was the entire point of the show. And it was brilliant. I made someone, I made a girl cry. It was fucking... It was a great show. However, word got out that I was on the show and the Daily Mail, the very shit rag that we are reading right now, uh, managed to get the show cancelled because the big bad Nazi man big bad evil Nazi, managed to get on the telly, managed to get on the BBC. And uh, what happened as a result was uh, all the episodes I was in got shit canned, uh, then the show itself got shit canned. Uh, so what they did in order to get at me was took away the voices of dozens of other people. There was trans people, there was black people, there was Indian people, there was Muslims, there was basically people from all walks of life because that was the point. There was There was no two people the same on an episode, like, everyone sitting in there was very, very, very different from each other, because that was the whole point of it, right? All of them got their voices taken away because they wanted to get to me. So, yes, we've stopped the big bad Nazi man from saying bad things about the government on the telly, but we also took away the voice of a bunch of other uh, minorities as well. But it's fine, we burned down the house, but we killed the spider. And it seems that that's what Peter Dinklage has done here. He's basically bitched about a role where, like, dwarves, like, literal dwarves from lore are not midgets, right? They're not. They're their own separate species, right? They're a completely different thing. He's bitched about it, and what he's done is he's taken seven, he's taken seven roles away that little people could have got. And now they are short a job. Uh, uh, the story is Snow White. <laughs> the story is now Snow White and the seven normal-sized people. 
It's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Also, they all each have their own individual characteristics. They look after Snow White. They're heroes. This is a good thing. Postal said he would jump at the chance to be involved in a big-budget Disney film. To be in a remake of one of the biggest fairy tales, the biggest Disney stories of all time, I think it was actually their first major movie that they made, Snow White, uh, would, be an, would be enormous. <laughs> yeah, very would. Uh, I know me and six other little people who would love this role. Disney, call me. This would be a dream role for me. I am begging for one, and I hope they fucking do. Jeff Brooks is a 62-year-old actor who lives in Dallas. He has been working as a dwarf actor since 1979. When he was cast as a winking Christmas elf in a holiday commercial for Joskies, he played the yellow dinosaur on The Barney Show on PBS from 1994 to 2001. He told DailyMail.com that Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was not an offensive story and that he, like Postal, would have jumped at the role. My first role was Josh the Gnome. He was dressed very much like a garden gnome. Then various other things, mostly seasonal work. I'd play elves at Christmas, leprechauns at St. Patrick's Day, a variety of characters on Halloween. He said in the duration of his 30-year career, he has rarely been offended by the roles he has been offered. Snow White, he said, depicts dwarves in a historically accurate way. Dwarves did work in mines. They did jobs that were easier to complete by people who are small. All right, he's talking about the little little people. <laughs> Oh. Okay, right. That did that did in a way in part inspire what dwarves were. Yes, and in history, if there was a small crack or crevice somewhere in the mine, they brought in a dwarf, <laughs> right? And they they put them in, and that's where that's sort of where like the inspiration for dwarves like to work work, work in the mines and get down the little cracks and find door veins and stuff like that and I mean it saves you time if you only have to dig a little hole to check if a vein's there and send in send in a little guy. Uh, they did not last long. <laughs> no, they died all the fucking time. Uh, they worked in mines, manufacturing, they built planes, cars, all kind of things that involved a cramped space. Uh, Dinklage claimed in his interview that the story perpetuates a story of the dwarves living in caves which is an... No, they didn't. They lived in a house. They, they lived in a house and they worked in mines. They worked in a mine. Fuck's sake. In the movie, they had their own house. They had a house and they worked in the mine, he said. Uh, Brooks said it was not offensive to cast little people in the role or even keep the characters in the film because dwarfs are real. Dwarf is a medical term. Yeah, but I, Yes, okay, right, it's a medical term, but in Snow White, they're not talking about humans with a medical condition. They're talking about literal dwarves who were inspired by Viking, Viking lore and fucking, like, Germanic, like, barbarian lore as well. Like, that stuff found its way to Germany and made it into their their uh, old, like, fucking tales and stuff like that. It's not... That's annoying. Uh, the condition I have is uh, achondroplasia dwarfism. That is a fact. I am a dwarf. <laughs> um... I'm hoping they cast little people and give them the work. Peter Dinklage may be hurting the chance of some dwarf actors here. And it scares me that Disney would change a decision that that big <laughs> of the comment of one actor. They've been too quick here. Katrina Kemp, the 31-year-old actor who's based in Los Angeles, said there would have been actors willing to accept the roles that Disney scrapped. She questioned whether or not Disney ever intended to cast dwarf actors in the role or if they planned to use CGI instead which she said would have been even more damaging than nah, I do actual actors. Uh, it is a missed opportunity to make a movie with seven little people where they actually have intended characters. Uh, there will have been people who gladly would have taken those roles. Are they people gunning for a SAG award? No, Peter has the privilege not to take roles. The people who are freaking out about this do not. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. he He's now at the stage now where he's got, he's got money in the bank. He can bitch about this stuff, whereas the little... <laughs> the little... The little uh, struggling actors that are trying to get a foot in the door, well, they've, they've kind of been screwed over. Yeah, like, like we're working in Hollywood, man, you take whatever roles you can get, and if you are a little person, the roles that you can get are fucking limited. Then Snow White and the Seven Dwarves comes along, and you're like, God damn, I was literally fucking born for this role. And then fucking Peter Dinklage just fucking <laughs> takes that away from you. She said she does not pin the blame on Dinklage and she says that she didn't believe he ever intended to take work from people but she said it was a failure by Disney to rely on his voice alone. Going to Dinklage for this is like going to Kim, Kim Kardashian for law firm advice. He is on another level, another plane of success completely. Uh, there are other dwarfism players who are just trying to use the inspiration that he has put out there, she said. You can't fix it by saying, oh, we won't put in any little people at all. And then... Oh, fucking hell, this goes on for far too long and I'm kind of done, right? But I, I really, 
I do appreciate though, like, however, yeah, I would I would like to see little people playing the dwarves, right? I'm sorry. I would like to play it. I would like to see it. And also, the dwarves in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves are not humans with dwarfism. They are a separate race, right, that are based on the old, like, stories and stuff like that that came out from Germany. Uh, Germany and also inspired by, like, Celtic and also, like, Viking type of stuff as well. Sorry, Gallic. The Celts were called Gogs in uh, Europe. However, it's, uh, it's a shame... It is a shame, right? I do hope that they recast it and I do hope they actually put in like seven little people because you wouldn't want these people being short a job. Um, but I, I really appreciate uh, Postal, Postal here uh, saying that he would uh, he would uh, take the role and he says that he wants it and everything. Uh, and he would uh, basically he played like the fucking leprechaun in WWE for ages. So I, I do I do enjoy him and I think he's a great guy and I really appreciate him being the bigger man.